Well, good afternoon and welcome to Trinity's Noon Devotion. Um, I'm coming to you live from my field office, and my field office doesn't belong to me, um, but it belongs to, um, I wouldn't even say belongs to, the fine folks <laughs> uh, descended from the DuPont family here at Longwood Gardens are providing the gorgeous view this afternoon. Um, so I am so glad to share this, uh, the Meadow Gardens with you. Um, I'll flip the camera uh, for those who are watching live. I'll flip that camera in a little bit so you can you, so you will be able to see what I am seeing. Um, in addition to you all, hi Joan and hi Sherry. Um, so it is good for us to gather together today. So complete confession at the beginning before I even get to announcements. Um, I brought a lot of stuff to Longwood Gardens. There are two tripods and a camcorder and my phone and um, Billy's being awesome and holding up this umbrella so I'm not squinting into the sun. There's oh there's the sun. Hey yo. <laughs> So needless to say, when we were walking into the meadows, I was like, oh, drat, the book that had the psalm I was going to read and the prayer and the list of names that we've been reading in our daily prayers, they are all still in my bag um, that I take to and from church. So that being said, um, I would invite you now as you're looking at this view, um, if you wish to share prayer concerns, either names or places or, or people or situations, um, I will flip the camera so you get to see the field when we pray and I will scroll through and list the names that are shared today um, in addition to any that might be on our hearts as well. Um, so I apologize that I don't have that list to read and share today. But I can talk you through the regular announcements and those uh, start with Sunday activities, uh, youth Sunday school, which is grades 7 through 12, will meet this Sunday on Zoom at 9 a.m. We're going early, folks. Why 9 a.m.? Well, worship is at 10.30 this Sunday. We will gather in the church parking lot, so br please bring your chairs, remember your masks, um, spread out a little bit. If your kiddos have been sitting on the parking, uh, sitting on the ground, you might want to bring an extra pad for them if they're sitting on the parking lot um, with us this Sunday. Um, but we found the space to work really well last week, um, so you are welcome um, to join us this Sunday. There's plenty of space in the parking lot. Uh, we encourage folks who need to be closer to their seats to park in the church parking lot along the side of the church. Um, folks who are able to walk and carry their chairs a little bit farther, uh, you can park in the tot lot or along the side of the church where the social hall is. Okay, that's Sunday. So also on Sunday, in addition to Youth Sunday School at 9 a.m., worship at 10.30 in the parking lot. At 2 p.m. is our Blessing of the Animal service. Um, when we've done this in the past, we have all gathered together and shared some scripture and blessed animals and done all of that. Um, it will be more of a quick drop-in type service so we can allow people to remain as distant and as spaced as they need to be. So come to the church around 2, please wear your masks, um, and we'll do individual pet blessings at 2 p.m. And Sunday evening at 6 p.m., because it is the first Sunday of the month, is our youth uh, Zoom youth group. Uh, this Sunday, it is a scavenger hunt with prizes. So if you need that link, youth, please email me. We'd love to have you join us. Next week, our noon devotions continue Monday through Friday. Um, Tuesday evening is Bible study on Zoom. If you need that link, email me. Wednesday evening is Holden evening prayer. Thursday evening at 6.15 is m making music. Um, so we've been sticking with the same things the other things that you may see pop up on our Facebook page on Tuesdays we share a Sunday school on Tuesdays video for our young or young at heart who are watching or seeing what's going on and staying connected and also um, on Thursdays we upload a class by Jeff Culp the Gospel of Matthew which is an adult Sunday school class that will carry us into December so if you're interested in that you can look on our Facebook page or on our YouTube channel the classes are there as well if you have questions about that just give us a call at church um, we'd love to have you join us. I think that covers all the announcements. Again, doing them from memory. And we know my memory's not that great because I left the book at home. So, would you join me in prayer? Good and gracious God, we give you thanks for the gift of this day, for the beauty of your creation and the opportunity to be out in it and to share it with others. Guide the thoughts and hearts of our minds, our words, and our actions this day as we reflect upon your abundant love and grace throughout all of creation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So I thought to myself about Bible verses that I could share with you today as we are out in creation. Um, and one, so the, first I thought I would just share Bible verses um, that I have memorized. So those include John chapter 1 verse 5, which is, The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Um, 
also the very first passage from Genesis um, in the beginning um, when the earth was a formless void and darkness covered over the waters um, God was present in the wind that swooped over the waters and a favorite verse to memorize by many of our confirmands uh, Jesus wept so that could be your scripture for today but I also thought of Psalm 121 so I jotted a little bit of it down I lift up my eyes to the hills from where will my help come my help comes from the Lord I can't help but think of God as being present in creation especially when I'm able to be in a place of such natural beauty as Longwood Gardens um, I hope that as this pandemic continues and folks are feeling a little more comfortable uh, being out and about safely that you have a chance to see God in the beauty of creation if not this day in the next few days or weeks I have to say that one of my favorite seasons you know of the four of them um, I really love fall because I think that God's beauty shines as things change. I know it's a time of year when we see things um, dying, like maybe your garden plants have get, given up the last of their zucchini. Um, they are fading away. I know our pumpkin patch in our front yard um, where the vines are still strong, the leaves are starting to weep, but the pumpkins are turning bright orange. So as that plant finishes its life cycle, um, there are still bold and beautiful colors. Um, I'm hopeful for a time to come back to Longwood when the trees behind me in this field um, are turning orange and yellow and different shades of red. I think there's something to be seen and grasped in the beauty of God's creation, especially through the changing of the seasons. Even as earth winters over, we know that life is creating and recreating in the ground as we will see the new buds and flowers popping up in the spring. So I hope that you have a chance to see God in God's beautiful creation sometime this day. It's a beautiful day. I will let you know, obviously you can see that I'm not wearing a mask, um, but I will say that right now there's no one nearby us um, and I will put on the mask um, when we're moving about the gardens again. Um, so if you have a chance to be outside, I hope you also get to breathe in deeply some fresh air and exhale all the worries and concerns that you might be carrying this day. What I'm going to do now with the phone is I'm going to flip the camera so you should be able to see the field. Ah, there you go. And we will enter into a time of prayer. Um, again, as I mentioned at the beginning, I do not have the prayer list, those lists of names that we've been reading every day. Um, so if you have names on that list, I apologize that I do not have it with me. Um, but I would encourage you as you're watching now um, to lift those names up or places or concerns in the comments so that as we continue watching or as we watch later, we can hold those folks in our prayers as well. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for loving us. Thank you for being with us in your beautiful creation. Thank you for gathering us together in this time and in this space and this opportunity to share the beauty where we find ourselves this day. I pray that folks who are inside have a window to the outside world. I hope that they can see the bright blue sky, can maybe feel the wind if the window is open and to know of God's love and presence in creation that surrounds them each and every day. For those who are able to be outside today, please take deep breaths out there. Enjoy and immerse yourself in God's creation. It surrounds you, and we are all blessed by it. This day we hold in our prayers, Steve, Folks who are not able to gather or be with us this day, our friends and family and their health and concern and care, those who feel alone or disconnected this day, those who are weighed down by injustice, strife, and violence, those in our community, our nation, and our world who are sick or suffering from COVID-19. We pray for the beauty of creation and we ask God to continue to guide our hearts and our hands to carefully care for all that God has made and blesses us with. 
We pray for those who are working this day, for those who are resting this day, for those who will work this night, and those who will, who will rest this night. God, continue to hold us in your care this day and all days as we pray together the prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you all for tuning in today, um, for allowing me to share some of this beauty. Um, I am so blessed that last week I could come to you live from the sanctuary and share that space, um, and to now be outside in God's creation and share this space with you. If you wish, you and you get outside today and take some pictures of God's creation, you are more than welcome to share them in the comments, to share where you see God at work today in the world around you. Um, know that wherever you might be, God is present with you and will continue to reveal God's self to you in beautiful, new, and various ways. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you with grace and with mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Be well, friends. Have a great day.